if you are considering opening a peer space studio do not do it before listening to this video and the first thing is in all honesty especially in the major cities like los angeles the market is getting saturated so it is so important for you to bring something unique to the table but you can't open up a studio that's an identical copy of another studio and expect people to go with yours the other one's been around longer they can probably be cheaper and they already have their reputation and their place in the community so what do you do then so for me personally i feel like the studios that do the best are the ones that resemble real life locations that not everybody has access to in my studio i have a retro neon diner so it's something that people specifically search for a diner and it has a creative twist on it. So you can use that same principle and apply it to other things such as record stores, coffee shops, theaters, diners, like whatever the case may be, the list goes on and on. Rather than just a random set of a bunch of things thrown together, create something that people actually are looking for. If you wanna open up a studio and you just want a blank studio space with white walls and natural light, that is beautiful, but you have to really, really put in some extra work to build a community around you, throw events, and do a lot of marketing on your own to get rentals because it's, honestly, there's already so many studios like that. In addition to that, it really, really helps, and this goes into my next point, if you have a use for your studio yourself beyond renting it out. For me, you know, I used to direct a lot of music videos. I still do a lot of fashion campaigns and things like that. So I will take my clients from my main full-time income, which is creative videography, photography, I will take them to my studio and we will create there. And having a studio actually helps me in my full-time business as a videographer because clients see that and they kind of take me a little bit more seriously. Like, oh, he has an actual physical studio space. So it is an asset to me. Even if the rentals only made up half the rent, I'm still using it for my own projects and for my clients. So it makes it worth it. So whatever your profession is, whether that's fashion design, videography, photography, modeling, content creation, UGC style stuff, whatever it is, ideally your studio helps you make more money in your main full-time income beyond rentals. And then the cherry on top is your rent gets paid by rentals or at least a very large portion of it. So if you are opening a studio, please take into account the three points that I made. First one, I say it every time, keep your overhead low. If you can't afford your rent within your existing income, you don't wanna find yourself in a tough situation later. Second, bring something fresh to the table. The safe route is not to just create a duplicate of something that already exists. You need to bring something unique that people are actually gonna be looking for. And third is to have a use for your studio, for yourself beyond rentals, and let it be an asset for whatever you do in your main full-time career. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do comment. If you want everything that I've learned about the peer space business in one place, the studio blueprint is available at the link in my bio. You get the blueprint and a 15 minute call with me at the time of recording this video. So thank you guys. We'll talk soon.